Vanessa, have you, have I told you about this wine, the Breton Vineyards uh, from Barroso? I remember hearing a little bit about it and trying it, but I'd love to hear your take on it. Well, you know, I would have never looked into it, but mm -hmm. Sir Lucero, uh, who works with this. And loves old world wines. He's a huge Nebbiolo fan. Any mm -hmm. Nebbiolo, he'll just drink it up and buy all of it. But this time, he gave us an alert about this wine after he brought it over to tasting panel. Yeah. He told the whole team to just go ahead and buy it. And you know what? I've been enjoying it ever since. I remember. I mean, it has amazing accolades, right? Because it won um, Best in Show Platinum mm -hmm. at Decanter World Wine Awards. Yeah. I think it beat out 17,000 other wines. That's a number. And That's then incredible. James Holiday, great points. 95 points. Yeah. But I, I think you're right. You know, it's, it's um, I know Sir loved it and, and our, our staff loves it, but I think it's something that if people, you know, haven't tried Australia in a while or or aren't sure that they like it, this is such a beautiful wine. I, I really, I really want people to fall in love with Australia the way that that we have. Absolutely, I have to agree with you. Yeah, the the majority of, of us Australian wine that's out there, it's it's a little more richer, more ripe. Mm -hmm. This is finesse. It's Very beautiful. Balanced. One of those like needle in a haystack. Yeah, it's, it's good because it's higher altitude planting. So I think, you know, a little bit cooler, more diurnal shift. So, so that's you, why you get those notes. Exactly. Like a more, so you get that ripeness, but also that freshness to it as well. It's beautiful. I'm just daydreaming about those ribs we were talking about. So maybe we should add some to the fair and go grab some of Absolutely. those. Absolutely. Let's go to the store. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, cheers, cheers. guys. Enjoy. <laughs>